Developing tonight dangers at the light rail, a train hitting a man in his 40s, sending him to the hospital in critical condition. It happened near 19th Avenue in Montebello, that man getting pinned underneath the train. Road shut down in that area for hours as crews cleared the scene. That man in the fight of his life tonight, but what may have saved him are these unique airbags. We've heard of Jaws of Life, but rescue crews at this scene use something completely different. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez caught up with that rescue team tonight. And Nicole, it sounds like they just happened to be nearby when this crash happened. Yeah, Katie, talk about being at the right place at the right time and thankfully with the right tools. They call them airbags, but they work a lot more like car jacks and they're powerful enough to lift a part of that train right off the ground. It's just one of those crazy calls. And surprisingly, it's one they actually never saw coming. We were told that it's impossible for anybody to get sucked underneath the train. But it's the second time in two weeks it's happened. Luckily, Phoenix firefighters have trained for it before. The rescue, though, no easy task. That valley man stuck with only inches between his body and the bottom of the light rail. His space was, was very small maybe, you know, still breathing within maybe five or six inches of space. So it was critical for us to get him out as quickly as possible. This heavy rescue team pulling out a game changing tool. Airbags, some they say can handle between 30 to 50 tons each. We knew that if we could get about six inches of lift from the train that we'd be able to pull them out. The trick, the airbags don't have to lift the entire light rail train. Instead, it shifts that weight off of one side and creates just enough space to pull that man to safety. When we saw that we were able to lift the train off this guy in seven minutes, that was that was pretty remarkable. It was really our training that we do on this truck that saved this guy's life. Now that man still in critical condition tonight. He's still being treated at a Valley Trauma Center. Live in Phoenix tonight, Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.